Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Look at this. I have the Pimax Crystal here finally and I will I uh, have it like uh, one day and, and I will give you a first first impressions uh, what I think about the headset. It's not a um, it's a prototype still and there are some things missing so I cannot uh, give you a review. Um, th this will come later, but the first impressions in this video. Thank you to my sponsors, Vulcus VR, Open Money Events, Virtual Escapes, The Beats, and Aeroflight FS Flight Simulator. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, and here is the Pimax Crystal. You, you can already see that the shape and this uh, logo here it's a Pimax headset. <laughs> it looks like a Pimax headset. It's very uh, huge, of course, because it has a huge field of view, like all Pimax headsets. And yeah, I just got it uh, one day before and uh, I had one day to try it. And I can tell you all in all, I'm impressed by this headset. It's definitely interesting, but this is not a full review, as I said, because it's it is not possible for me to try it wireless and the standalone mode. And that's very important and I will not do a review until this function doesn't work. So uh, now there is a cable um, but you can also put a battery inside. You put it just here, yeah, here at the back and then you can use it wireless. But I can, cannot try that. So what I tried is um, um, I put it on my head like you have this wheel here and then you can put it on your head. And it's so comfortable. I, it's really, it's not the lightest headset. It's pretty. It, I would say it's heavier than uh, yeah some other headsets like the um, Pico 4 or so. But it's still comfortable. <clears throat> it's no problem, and uh, there's no light leakage or something. So that's not a problem. It's tracked via these uh, cameras at the front, so you don't need any base stations. Yeah, I think there will be a, a lighthouse uh, cage that you can buy optional, but I don't have that. I don't know uh, if and when this will be, re be released. So this is inside out tracking. And uh, then what I uh, tried is uh, the, the display quality, of course. And uh, I'm really impressed. So the lenses are really clear, I, uh, crystal clear, like the name says. And it's, it's really nice. It's very... Uh, there's, there are no God rays or something. You don't see any pixels, of course. And it's a really good, clear picture. And I'm, I was really impressed by that. Uh, the field of view is smaller than with the other headsets. Yeah, because there are other lenses. It's smaller. But the, the all-in-all -all picture quality seems to be better than the older Pimax headsets, like the Pimax 8K X or 8K or so. At least what I thought in the, in the first day. I, I will do a review later. But... Uh, that's what I what I thought. It's a really good quality um, display. The panels are really great, and um, yeah, that's that's what I. Uh, then uh, they sent me the software. Of course, it's called the Pimax Client, and there you can set up all the stuff what you like. Uh, for example, the IPD. This is mechanical, so there's a motor configuring your IPD. That's really good. And um, yeah, you can do your room setup in this software and uh, some more stuff like you know it from the uh, Pimax software already. And yeah, what I tried, of course, uh, I played Half-Life Alyx, my favorite game. Um, and I tried that with the controllers. I can show you the controllers as well. So these are the Pimax controllers. And what do you say? Yes, of course, these are the same like the Oculus Touch controllers. It's just the same. The only thing is you have a Pimax button here and everything feels the same. But they are really light. They are really light. Um, they uh, don't have batteries. They have included... Yeah, they are uh, not uh, changeable batteries, but they're, uh, you can ch charge them with the USB-C ports here. And they are so light. It's great. And they also have uh, this uh, finger tracking here um, on, on the uh, grips. That was really impressive. I, I didn't know that they have that. And so you can do uh, the, the full finger tracking for, for Half-Life Alyx and shoot and everything. The tracking was fine. Also with the headset, I have absolutely no problems with the, with the controllers really good. So guys, yeah. Um, all in all, I was really impressed by this headset. The, the picture quality is really good. But please, guys, this is only the first impressions. We have to check uh, out the other stuff as well. I will not do a review until I uh, have more time with this headset and until the wireless mode works. 
and of course the standalone mode. If everything works, then I will do a review. I have no idea how long they, they uh, need <laughs> to do that, but yeah, that's everything I can tell you. I'm really impressed by this headset and I'm looking forward to try more. By the way, you can change the, head, the integrated headphones to other ones that are also included in the package. They are a little bit better. You have a screwdriver and you can change all that stuff. Really nice. So guys, that was my first impressions of the Pimax Crystal. If you want to see the full review, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that. Thank you for watching, give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de